Well, uh, thank you, uh, Hannah Rose, uh, for coming on Valley Advocate Sessions. Thanks for having me. Um, one thing um, uh, I should mention is uh, obviously we had your band uh, So Data on before. Mm -hmm. uh, what, what what are the big differences between your solo material and some of the, the uh, pieces you're writing for So Data? Um, well, it's interesting because a lot of this, well, all of these things, um, Andy and I used to perform with our old band, um, but then we started kind of going more in a jazz realm and they just didn't really necessarily work with what we're doing now um but i still you know love performing the songs and it's nice to you know since i play keys in the other band it's nice to come up and play guitar sometimes um and kind of do my own thing in that way but i would say um stylistically definitely uh i would say more on the rock and like indie singer songwriter realm and sodata is more jazz heavier rock so uh, as far as the, your solo material goes, uh, what what are some of the your big uh, inspirations as far as other songwriters or bands? Uh, there's a lot. Um, definitely, I would say um, a few really, really uh, big inspirations for me are definitely Paul McCartney and the Beatles in general. Um, Joni Mitchell is a really big inspiration to me um, as a writer and singer. Um, I love Bon Iver and all of Justin Vernon's work, really, and Fleet Foxes are a huge influence for me. And, you know, I, I, I really listen to all kinds of music. I've been really on a big hip-hop kick, and um, I also love old jazz, um, ranging from, like, the 20s through the 60s, even mostly contemporary stuff, too. Um, so I'm just always out there listening, finding new music and trying to find new inspiration. You mentioned that most of the material you're writing now is, is more geared towards Sodata. Has it ever occurred, uh, where, has it ever been the case where you've written a song um, that, that you thought might be good for Sodata and ends up being better for your solo project? Yeah, um, it's, well, I guess it's interesting because all of these songs I play today are at least three years old, if not more than that. Um, Songs I've I've written a few songs like probably in the past couple years that didn't really work with the band so um, you know I'll keep them or what will usually happen is um, Andy and I usually for Sodata we co-write everything together but sometimes like there have been a couple of things uh, we're working on an album right now um, for that and I've I'm actually you know wrote a, a bunch of stuff on guitar for that um, and even may play some guitar on the album but. Um, it, it was cool because I started writing stuff maybe with the intention of using it for solo stuff and then uh, we actually worked together on arranging it so it could work with the band. Okay, um, now you're still playing solo shows in addition to a lot of the band shows with Sodata. Mm -hmm. um, uh, what's the biggest uh, kind of change between like going between one the other. Oh, well, the biggest change for me is that I'm lugging around in 88 key roads <laughs> for the band, um, which definitely, I, I mean, I've been playing piano for about, um, you know, 23 years or something like that, and guitar for only uh, 12 years, so I'm definitely, you know, more comfortable playing piano. I feel a lot more vulnerable when I'm up here by myself playing guitar, and I also, you know, uh, it's very different kind of energy when you have you know, uh, three other people up here with you, and um, I also, you know, share lead vocal duties with Andy. So, so it's definitely uh, for me, it's the vulnerability aspect of being performing alone, which is kind of why I, I keep doing it because I have a lot of anxiety about it, and I feel like you know that's the only way to kind of get rid of that is to keep doing it. Okay, <laughs> um, no, I, I I totally understand where that comes from. Yeah, being a, a solo performer myself. Yeah, uh, and then having a, big, a huge a band. In a big band, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, um, uh, so uh, as far as, uh, I know you're doing the Sodata record, but uh, do you plan to do some sort of solo record in the future? Um, yeah, I've actually, I've been really thinking about it um, over this past year and what did I want to do, because um, all of the songs I just played today actually are recorded from uh, previous bands, but I'm not uh, necessarily uh, very happy with how things start out. Or, I mean, it's just that I would do it different now because I feel like I've grown as a musician and person since um, I did that and um, there's a bunch of songs that never made it onto anything so I'd really love to to do a solo album probably would end up just recording it at our studio with Andy and I producing and I'd probably end up having you know music, other musicians on it too like a drummer and you know bass and stuff so
Do you have any uh, solo dates or Sodata shows coming up uh, uh, early November? Um, no, no solo things right now. I'm sure things will come up. Um, but Sodata, we have a tentative date with the band Old Flame. Um, it might be happening on November 18th. It's not confirmed though. But okay. stay tuned. And then we're we're playing. Um, we're opening for Fat Bradley at their EP release show at Hawks and Reed on December 2nd, I believe. Um, but you can find everything at sodatamusic.com. We have dates and, and my solo stuff, it, you can find it at um, you know, facebook.com slash Hannah Rosenbaum Music. And well, we're looking at Hannah Rose. <laughs> uh, thank you so much, Hannah, thank for, you. Uh, for being uh, part of Valley Advocate Sessions. Thanks for having me. It's been nice.